we weren't pretty, and it weren't the Tottenham way. But another massive three points. I say massive. It's not really massive, to be fair. But in the overall scheme of things, it's quite massive because we've ended up with another clean sheet and putting three past a team that are in the top four. Granted, it's Leicester. Um, and some might say, well, yeah, it was just Leicester. You know, do they really deserve to be up there? Because now they're, what, fifth? Um, but bear in mind, they've been there all season. And um, if I'm being honest, I thought that Leicester played pretty well yesterday. Thought their, their passing was really crisp, really um, focused. Their movement was good. Um, and I don't think you'd be a Tottenham fan if he wasn't sitting there thinking, oh, I could still do with another goal here, to be sure, you know? Um, so, you know, overall, it is quite massive because we managed to get another clean sheet under sustained pressure. Now, normally under sustained pressure, we, we cave. We make a mistake, we lose concentration, and, uh, you know, the other team score but not yesterday. And for me, I think that was a real, real improvement. Um, I don't think it can go unnoticed um, that um, Serge Aurier was back. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I was expecting him to be done for the season. I was expecting him to go back to France and uh, spend some quality time with his family considering what they're going through. Um, but fair play to him, you know, he's, he's come back. Um, only having a couple of days off um, to comfort his mum um, and he's come back focused to uh, to help the team and, and to be fair he, he wasn't he wasn't as bad as uh, as he can be um, felt he did okay yesterday um, I still and I don't want to I'm not trying to slag him off um, but it doesn't alter him as a player that he's um that he's um, uh, reckless from time to time. Um, there was a few occasions in there that I was a bit, oh, what's he doing? Um, Soko as well, he seems to be flapping around a little bit at the moment. Um, kind of just, and, and I guess that's, I guess that's the transition of trying to get used to this um, defending as a team and uh, as a whole unit and uh, and sort of just doing the I, I guess the the sensibleish thing sensibleish is that a word but doing that thing where um, you kind of just clear it you know it doesn't have to be pretty just clear it just get it away and I and I feel that there was a lot of that yesterday there was a lot of kind of just kicking the ball away just kicking it upfield just and all that does really is it kind of just plays into the opposition to give them another wave of attack because you're kind of not keeping it down and playing it to anybody. When we got it right, boy, did we get it right. I mean, you know, the three goals were, you know, brilliant. I mean, Harry Kane, you know, I mean, let's talk about Harry Kane. Uh, you know, the amount of people that you still see saying that he's a fraud, a, a goal hanger, um, you know, overrated and, and all that. I, I just, I really don't get it. There must just be jealousy or, you know, people not being able to understand football. But I mean, the boy is fantastic. Left foot, right foot, inside the box, outside the box, header. You know, he can even score when he's laying down, you know. I mean, the guy can do everything. And uh, when you consider where he was in that first game where we come back, where he was huffing and puffing and trying to get there. And the running he did yesterday was fantastic. I mean, you know, to get himself to get himself up the pitch to be able to score him goal from starting a from starting a move to being the person that finishes it. I mean, you know, he really did work hard yesterday. Um, and I thought he was our our standout player. You know, I thought he did really, really well. Lucas Moore as well, I think you know his little snappy tackles and, and and not giving up you know 
these little challenges and that. I, I, you know, you can't underrate that, to be fair. You know, he is that kind of player. He will get stuck in. He will keep fighting for the cause. Not everything he does is uh, uh, fancy footwork or, or anything like that. You know, he just grafts and get in there. And I thought he, again, I thought he did okay. I, I thought he played really well. So, you know, for me, it was a, it was one of those performances that, you know, like you say, it's not the it's not the um, the type of football that we're used to, because you're always expecting that um, that goal to come against you, you know, and for us to kind of start to have a bit of a Spursy time where you where you kind of sitting back going, oh here we go, here we go, but I mean yesterday, I you know, it just wasn't going to come, you know, they they. Um, they defended, you know, as a team, you know, scrappily at times, but they defended as a team. And I think the other thing you've got to call out is, is Hugo yesterday. In terms of in terms of his overall game, his shot stopping is is fantastic. You know, he is a shot stopper. You know, when them balls are, are, are fired at him, you know, there was probably what three or four yesterday that he really did show his quality. You know, I, and I don't think you can. I don't think you can um, ignore that. You know, yeah, okay. He can't kick to his own players when he's kicking a ball out. You know, he can't do that, and he doesn't come at, come out as quickly as he used to as a sweeper, as a sweeper keeper. Um, but boy, when you fire their balls at him, he can uh, yeah, he can turn them over the over the crossbar or around the post. You know, he. Um, he did really well yesterday. So, I mean, overall, it was a it was a, a decent performance. You know, um, like I say just something we're not really used to, I guess. But I suppose it's something that we've got to get used to these days, isn't it? Because it's the Mourinho way. You know, you sit back, um, you don't you soak up the pressure, you defend resolutely as a team, and then you catch other teams on the break. You know, and uh, you know that's 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 where we are. So. You know, we've got one final game to go uh, against Palace, um, and all the uh, all the pundits would think that we were odds on to win that. But you know, this is football; you never know. Um, it's been a real crazy, crazy season. You know, um, with the results that have been played uh, played out. You know, there's been a lot of freaky ones in there. You know, and it is what it is. You know. Um, for me, you know, I'm happy that we won the game. I'm happy that we got the three points. If that gets us um, into the top six, it gives us the opportunity to to get Europa League, then I'm, I'm happy for that. But equally, if we don't get Europa this year, you know, I'm not going to cry in me, in me beer over it. It'll be, it is what it is. Um, and I just hope that we can kind of build on it for next season um, it's just a shame to a certain extent that the season's coming to an end because now it's coming to an end just as we're we're kind of just hitting a little bit of form in the summer if we have some have some new players coming in undoubtedly I, I, I honestly think we will um, but if we have those players coming in are we going to have to have time to bed them in and, and so on you know and does that start us all over again just, just when we're kind of starting to click and starting to get it going the right way so the season end is coming at the wrong time for us really because we just started to hit a little bit of uh, a little bit of form in terms of results so but hey you know it is what it is you know um, I've renewed my season ticket I must be mad but I have um, and we'll uh, we'll see where it takes us you know at the end of the day um, you know, it's the love of the club that keeps us going um, and the hope. So we just keep on hoping. We keep on um, looking forward and hoping that that's that we're going to turn a corner and, and actually start to challenge something. I think you know the promise from Mourinho has always been: you might not win anything in the first season, um, but he's won something everywhere he's been, and he's uh, determined not to let that go. And I think winning something with Tottenham will be a real feat for him. It'll, it'll almost be better 
than being able to win a trophy with a poor Man United side because <clears throat> we've gone so long without anything and we've had no dominance over the years. You know, we all talk about being Tottenham being a big club, you know, one of those clubs that, that should do better and all the rest of it. But to be fair, our glory time, you know, really was, you know, early 80s. That was the time when we had any kind of glory. We haven't had any glory since then. You know, a couple of cups here and there, I mean, you know, doesn't build any kind of dominance, doesn't make us, you know, a team that's, uh, that's achieved. And I think we kind of kidding ourselves a little bit if we think we are. Um, but it would be good to get back to that kind of, uh, that kind of level, that kind of challenge that we had in the 80s where anything was possible. So we'll see. I think uh, next season is the is the big test for Jose um, and I think that will determine um, whether um, whether we see the real Jose or whether we see the uh, see the miserable Jose who, who uh, takes takes the clubs into a into a, a, a depressive state. But we'll see. You know, I'm confident. Um, I'm glad that we've uh, managed to hit a bit of form towards the end of the season and just built a little bit of hope sort of going forward. So we keep the faith, we keep moving forward. Other Spurs.